Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, finally, we're going to continue with the Army of Satan series. Today, it is the part four, the Loyal Army, Illuminati, Luciferian Freemasons. So this is something that I have done extensive research on it in orthodoxy. There are people dedicated for the past hundreds of years to exactly this subject, the enslavement of humanity through secret elites. For over 15 years, I have dug deep into this subject. Unfortunately, you have to be very, very cautious here on YouTube what you talk about. This is why I personally stopped doing videos about it. Anyways, today we're going to try to react to this series and we're going to hope to not get deplatformed. All right, guys, with no further ado, let's have a look. He's always trying to break you down, to make you sad, to let you in the darkness from the very beginning when he declared his enmity to mankind. And throughout the history, he caused evil and destruction between every nation. That is for sure. Yep, the checkout floor. They are very loyal to him, Satan. They engineered every single war and managed to indoctrinate you to their way of thinking. They established their own religion, their own political system, and they made a new economic order. It doesn't take a genius to see, but nowadays people are so blind that they cannot see through their own conditioning and their own brainwashing. It is so obvious. Of course, we have a new economic order. Just look at all the debt slaves. Everybody is in debt and they see nothing wrong with it. Some people will still argue that capitalism, the way that we perceive it nowadays, is A-OK. -okay. Just work a little bit harder. It all gonna be fine. Moreover, the political system that is in place is intrusive. The liberalism is destroying families. It is absolutely repulsive. You cannot even escape it. In your own home, through Netflix, YouTube and whatnot, your family members are brainwashed and then you have discussions with them and it's like talking to zombies in some instances because they believe the propaganda. They cannot see that they've been politically brainwashed. And of course, their own religion, the elites, they have their own religion, but you do not know about their religion. They give you a new religion, a new world order religion, so to speak, a world religion for everybody. This is where the interfaith movement comes into place. They just intermix all the religions and hey, everybody is right a little bit as as long as you do not hurt me, I do not hurt you, I'm going to address you as they, and Christianity is bigoted, Islam is very violent, but if we get rid of those evil, evil doctrines on the surface, the core message is the same, isn't it? Just love your neighbor, just get along, it's all going to be fine. Ultimately, they want to get rid of all the core values of religion, and they want us all to get along whilst following their opinion. <laughs> They are supposed to manipulate the people and to control world affairs by masterminding events and planting agents in government and corporations in order to gain the political power and influence and to establish a new world order. Absolutely correct. This is nothing new yet again. You see so many so-called grassroots movement like veganism, Black Lives Matter and whatnot. And you will see that they're all infiltrated by the enemy. They are not organic 
economically growing movements, feminism, the ABCDEFG movement. All those movements are infiltrated by certain intelligences to destroy nations. It has been done before and now it is done again. But people don't see it. Ah, they just don't see it. It's like talking to a wall. A new world order. Yes. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be. Oh yeah. We have a real chance at this new world order. Thank God. An order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Exactly right. So now think about this again logically. You have the UN vision. You have the states that will determine what is right and what is wrong and what is the law of the jungle, right? They have the law of peace, allegedly. They are the peacemakers and therefore they can infiltrate all the Arab countries and establish their own banks there. It is all in the name of peace, of course. They can go out and police the whole world with their moral standard. But what is that moral standard based upon? It is liberal thinking. It is the root of all evil. It comes directly from Satan, of course. What kind of law is this? Is it divinely inspired? Of course it is not. It is a man-made fabricated law that appeals to emotion and emotions are always wrong we begin to see the climax of a major change in society the climax of a new world order and we begin to see a type of integration between information technology and trade we begin to see the economy, politics, culture, and ideology being transported simultaneously from nation to nation. And with this technology, with the ability to transport ideas, the very value systems of people, the way that they eat, what they enjoy to do, how they enjoy recreation, their racial concepts, their culture, their ideology being transported all around the world. A type of globalization. Yep. That's and with the name this of the game. boom in the information technology, and with this major event that takes place, now it comes to a culmination. And it starts to reach a high point. And so the innocent people, we look at this and we say, what is going on? What is happening to the world? that had so many different varying views, different nations, different ways of approaching things that can complement each other. Now we see politics is stripped of real power. Ultimately, they're telling you diversity is great. Diversity is our strength. We should all unite and together we are stronger, etc., etc., you name it. However, if you don't have the same opinion as the lawmakers, you will get cancelled. So therefore, no, we are not equal, we are not the same. There is a narrative of globalization that is being pushed. Because if you say, hey, I want to stay in a nation state, I want to have my own nation, we have our own laws, we do not want to participate, and we are not infringing upon anybody else, we do not want to harm any other nation, we simply want to do our own thing. Then they're gonna send the troops. Look at what happened in Poland and certain other EU countries. Those people do not want to allow the ABCD information to get into their schools. And it is their right, of course. Why would they need that propaganda in their schools? But the EU that is under the UN says, of course, we're gonna kick you out of the EU. We're gonna sanction you. You're not gonna be part of our global community if you want to do your own thing. Thing. And by that premise, you have to submit to that new world order. That the economy governs all social exchange. We see that the states serve the financial powers, power structures. That the real power is no longer in the hands of the generals. Of but the not. real power now switching to the hands of the people who run yep. the economy. To the banking systems. And then we see that politicians play the role of public relations offices only to control the masses, either by lulling them to sleep or by terrorizing them. And then we see that 
the masses of the people become helplessly preoccupied. Their lives are now bombarded with a series of cultural events. And these cultural events start to become the most important things in their lives. <laughs> the World Cup. Yeah, super important. The Major League football. Series. The rugby, the cricket, yeah, wow. the hockey, the tennis. The sport is a simulation of war. We as men, of course, we have it intrinsic in us to go to war. Nowadays, most of us do not anymore. And therefore, we numb ourselves with alcohol and watch the game and scream. Yeah, we gotta win. It's my team. It's absolutely pathetic and ridiculous. As I already said, I hate football. It makes me cringe watching this or watching other people watching football. But nevertheless, it was already established in the Roman Empire. Give them bread and games and they never gonna rebel i'm paraphrasing here but this is really what it boils down to just entertain the dumb masses the peasantry give them alcohol give them food and give them sports they never gonna rebel whatever the sport may be yep. we see whole nations coming behind sports war simulation and the national heroes become sporting people yeah exactly even right. in saudi arabia Even in our own Muslim countries, the sure. national heroes are now the soccer players <laughs> who kicks Why? the little ball inside <laughs> of a net. <laughs> and they're all millionaires. Who becomes the hero of the nation yeah. when people are dying on the ground. Unbelievable. Man. But yet we become preoccupied with this. And it becomes a type of indoctrination happening to us. And with the sure. use of powerful music playing on our emotions mm. with videos now being taken to the furthest extremes in the planet people's thinking processes are changing people are now in love with the superheroes yeah even confused about their own identity trying to change themselves change the color of their hair change their eyes mm. change the way they dress change the way they talk yep on a global level And then we see yep. drug it's a very very correct what you said there i'm living in southeast asia at the moment and when i see what certain thai women do to themselves i'm just wondering why they hate god so much they change their skin color they have beautiful tans but no they want to be white like the koreans like the west so they're bleaching their skin and moreover nowadays they're having eyelid surgery so they get the european eyes absolutely ridiculous man you are born as an asian and there is beauty in that as well because god established it but however they hate god they hate themselves and this is why they do it to themselves addiction reaching a point that humanity has never seen before Sad. and after traveling to over 36 countries looking at the muslims and being with them i have found that in all of the communities that the young people are, are being confused with drugs sure. it is pouring into our countries No matter what it form it takes, cocaine, LSD, psychedelic, depressants, put you up, put you down, yep. confuse you. Yep but create a false world. I said it a million times, but I'm going to repeat it one more time. Growing up in Germany, I didn't know one Muslim that wasn't smoking weed or taking other drugs. Absolutely. It infiltrated all communities. It infiltrated all of humanity. Drugs are everywhere. It becomes normal now. They legalized weed everywhere. And give you a false dependence. Sure. So that you become dependent on the chemical. Yep. You forget about Allah. 100%. Your God becomes the pusher. Your yeah, God becomes the, the chemical. Yeah. And so creating this dependency amongst the masses of the people. Hundred percent. It's the same in orthodoxy. Anas bin Malik reported that Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said there was never a prophet who has not warned the Ummah about him. Behold, he is one-eyed, and your Lord Allah is not one-eyed. The all-seeing eye. There you go. This is a dollar bill, okay. which is the uh, now devalued dollar bill. 
And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called. It's their seal. Now behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid Looks so with creepy. one eye. <laughs> now the one eye is the sun god, Ray, which is where we get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun guy, same Mithraic character, and he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. This brings me all back to pointed stars, and when you draw lines between them, you'll draw a six-pointed star. If the hexagonal star is lifted out and placed over the image of the pyramid, hmm. its points indicate specific letters in the Latin inscription surrounding it, which are thought to be an anagram. Inside the American Dictionary is the word anagram, which is the intentional scrambling of the letters of a word to conceal the real word. So if you re-scramble, you get Masons. This is how we know that the Masons originated the drawings for the Great Seal of the United States. They built Washington as well. It's this search secret. for concealed meanings in the iconography is not confined to the imagery alone. It is claimed that the number 13, the most ominous number in Western tradition, is hidden throughout the symbols on the $1 bill. They point out the repetition of the symbolic number 13. There are 13 leaves on the olive branch in the eagle's right claw. 13 arrows in the left claw. 13 stars above the eagle's head. And 13 right. bars and stripes on the shield. Count the feathers. You'll notice that there are 32 feathers on the bird's left wing and 33 on his right wing. This is understood to refer to the 33 degrees of masonry introduced by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, America's most prominent Masonic order, whose national HQ is in Washington. Yup. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuetta Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. Yes. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This yep. is the project. And that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum. A new secular or worldly order. Sometimes the truth is so obvious, da, which goes unnoticed. That's why you need to change your perspective of realizing the world from simple believing to a rational believing. Then you can see what's really happening to this world. I agree. But only God can make that happen. Yeah. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. Up until now, I have to say this one was my favorite part of the series. I didn't know that there are Muslims that are aware of this agenda. As I said, I come from Orthodox Christianity, and there the people are truly aware of what is going on. So many predictions about coming ages, chipping, forced injections, loss of religion, and what not. However, it is very refreshing to see that within the Islamic community, we have people that see this phenomenon as well that they understand of course that we are entering or maybe we are already in the end times and what comes with it but as i said in the beginning of the video guys i have to censor myself unfortunately we do not have freedom of speech on youtube this is a fact so please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel on rumble once i reach over a thousand subscribers i will be able to live stream over there and then finally god willing we can talk about such topics one thing i want to leave you with is 
to look into the UN and the Lucius Trust. Do your research and see who Alice Bailey was and see how those things are connected. Really look into the New Age and then you will figure out how the New Age agenda made it into the UN and how the UN is spreading secularism, the destruction of religion. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to say here for now. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.